Good morning everyone and Merry Christmas. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel a Merry Christmas and in today's video we're doing something a little bit different. It's been a bit of a crazy few months or it's been a bit of a crazy year. It has really. been a crazy year so today we thought we'd do a little like recap of the year gone Trip by and not only that we've got big news of what's happening in 2024. So we're going to tell you all about it but first we need a coffee. Coffee. Alrighty, are you sitting comfortably guys? Then we'll begin. And it all began in January, as most years do. <laughs> and January was a good month. January it was a, good, was a month. good month. Yeah, we was we started the year in the Cotswolds, lovely part of England, and we just had a fantastic time celebrating Christmas and New Year with our family. And we were feeling a little bit oh they've all gone now or oh, jenny my sister went back to australia but it was good it felt good the van was fixed vinnie was good you know after the stress that we had at the end of 2022 we felt like it was gonna be a good year really sarah really nick so after exploring the cotswolds for a bit we went back to our friend mad mick at mad mick mechanics and um, got an overhaul done on Vinny. We got loads of work done. He fixed up that axle that we had replaced and he made it look like it hadn't come from the bottom of the sea. Sprayed it all up. We had the engine tuned. So Vinny's belt. cam belt done. With struts put on, a new alternator, brand new, more powerful alternator. So much work done. So Vinny was better than ever. And he was running better than ever, mm. wasn't he? We were happy. So or so we thought. Or so we thought before the problems began. Began. but January started off well. February. So we left the UK and we wanted to head south quite quickly because it was pretty cold and our first kind of big stop was the Dordogne. Up until then no issues at all. Vinny was driving fine. Like we did it dream. really quickly. We we're very very happy. Then we get to the Dordogne, beautiful region. Very excited about exploring this little area and then the problems began. Yeah we had this brake issue. We didn't know what it was. Like the brakes were working but not properly and we thought oh Oh no, because this was sort of happening back in the UK before we got everything sorted. We're a little bit gutted after we'd got him all tuned up and he was, you know, better than ever. The brake problem started and this was just before we were about to cross the Pyrenees to get back into Spain. So it was a little bit worrying. On our way down, we stopped just before crossing into Spain and that's when you lost your drone. I was just flying the drone, spiraling around and then there was like, I don't know, four or five birds flew around it. Well, I thought it was just going to fall to the ground, but then it's just stuck in the tree. And these trees are really tall. We can see the camera of the drone. It's in the tree somewhere, but we can't spot the drone. So absolutely gutted. Problems with the van and I lost my drone. Um, so February was not a good month and we still had to get through the Pyrenees. We really wanted to explore, but decided we would best not drive up over the mountains and just headed through the tunnel. We'd gone to a couple of mechanics on the way and it was just, there was no parts. We had to wait for the part, the brake servo, if you remember, to arrive from Germany. So we made it to Catalonia, which wasn't too bad because it's actually an area in Spain that we wanted to check out um, for land. We'd already mm. researched online a little bit of properties in the area. So it was a good base for us to wait for the brake servo and look for some land. So most of March was spent waiting for the park to arrive, but exploring the Ebro Valley and checking out some land, which was good. Little pathways going down from one terrace to the other. I actually really like this. But there was a little hospital visit. Won't go into that too much. So anyway, the park came and we were back on the road. And then at the end of March, we went to somewhere that had been on the bucket list forever. Somewhere we really wanted to visit. <laughs> Probably the highlight of the year. And that was Benidorm. <laughs> And behind us here we have the Levante Beach and over the opposite side Wignetti Beach. That's this huge one here and the one in the middle, the little one in the middle is Del Mal Pass. Yes. So now beach. you know all the beaches, Three all the beaches names of them. That you can see from the balcony. Our job is done and we can go home. <laughs> so because we were stranded for longer than expected in Catalonia, after Benidorm we made quite the mad dash home because we had the vehicle inspection. And that's what happened in April. Who remembers this dreaded vehicle inspection? After all the problems we'd had with Vinny, we're a little bit worried about him passing, but then we took him and on the day... We passed! 
We found! Oh, can't believe no it. doubt, no doubt in my mind. I can't believe it, we were so happy. It was such a good time because, you know, back in the UK at the end of the year before, we thought that was it. We didn't even think we'd be able to bring the van home with us, you know? So we were so, so happy when we got that pass. Oh, we drove away from the vehicle inspection place thinking, yes, amazing. And we got as far as the shops. And Nick turned around to me and said, the brake feels really good, but I think it feels a little bit too good. It got really hard, right? Mm. So we got out at the shops and there was smoke everywhere. And Sparks. oh my gosh. Of course, we had to call the tow truck and get home on the tow truck. So it was a bit of a crazy situation. Bit of a crazy one. So excited about passing and then Vinny's <laughs> first trip on a tow truck. So at the end of April, after changing a few parts, we hoped we'd fix the van and we headed to the coast to escape a mini heat wave and have a bit of fun for our birthdays. The end of April was pretty good. It felt like summer and the van seemed like it was all fixed. So we were kind of like planning the summer trip to the Alps that we talked about earlier on in the year and then i think it was when we were on our way back from the mm. coast that we realized that it wasn't fixed unfortunately may wasn't a good month we spent the whole month tinkering with Vinny. we took him to mechanics had no joy with them we we're trying to fix him change parts taking him on test drives and at the end of may we're in a no better situation yeah it was quite a frustrating month because obviously like nick said there was two different mechanics that we'd gone to they were changing the parts but that wasn't right and it was like well what are we gonna do this is just a brake issue why can't we get to the bottom of it it was it was really frustrating mm. By June, we'd actually had enough. I think that's the point that we started to give up like properly on little old Vinster. We hired a car to find a replacement van. That was a bit of fun. <laughs> oh my God. How, how do I drive this? How do I drive this? Sorry, I just have to pause this video right now to just show you the total cuteness that's going on between us. How cute are these two? Oh. Right, carry on, where were we, July? After driving our 33-year-old van, Vinster, for the last six, seven years, um, it was quite an experience driving a, a brand new hire car. Once we got it started. Took a while to get it started, figure out how it all worked. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was fun. And June and July was basically spent searching for a replacement van. So we hadn't completely given up on little old Vince, so there was still some hope. <laughs> but we were getting quite desperate because July in Southern Spain is getting quite hot. Yeah. So we we're, were worried about spending a whole summer in Spain, trying to fix Vinny, trying to struggle on with the brakes, trying to find the part. So we thought we needed to get a van. We looked in the local area, not much luck. We headed to Sevilla. Um, to broaden um, our search kind of thing, but still not much joy. And it was during this time at the end of July that we received an email that changed everything. We had the offer to go and collect a van from Berlin and leave Andalusia. So the beginning of August, we hired a car, we drove across Spain, we were staying in different hotels, different little apartments, we crossed France on the trains. It was all just so much fun. Got to Germany, hired another car and made our way up to Berlin. Always wanted to go to Berlin as well. We'd planned to go, but never got the chance and Berlin is incredible. And then we met Frank and Emily and moved into the van. And then we were up in Berlin in a new van. Felt, felt weird at first, because it was like someone else's van. They'd built it up themselves. It was their sort of van, their self-build. And then we were, we were just in it. Yeah, it was, it was very <laughs> weird. And we spent obviously the next sort of six weeks, so the rest of August and most of September, just kind of traveling around Northern Germany and kind of making the van our own, doing some improvements and continuing the fantastic build that Frank and Emily had um, started. Yeah. And it was all quite nice. It was all good. We we're enjoying ourselves and the plan was to, to put the van on export plates and then head back down to Spain to Hello? Hello, is that, is, that, is that Sarah? Yes, this is Sarah. Who's this? Hi, it's Arthur here. It's Arthur, a friend of Margaret's, a uh, gentleman friend. Margaret's new gentleman friend, yeah. Um, how, how is Mick? How's Mick and the girls? She, she asked me to ask how Mick and the girls is it. 
Charlene and um, Lizzie. Yeah, that's Nick and the boys. It's Dizzy and Charlie, but they're really good. So thanks for asking. So how can I help you, Arthur? Well, um, Margaret is a bit indisposed, shall we say, at the moment. She's just been to the dentist. We're over here in India. She got back from Germany. She came to India and I met her and we, we've fallen in love and a, excuse me, a fantastic time. And she said she's at the dentist. She can't, can't come to the phone and she's worried that you're not going to tell your subscribers um, about Nor... Oh, what was it? Norman? Norman, Norway, Nor somebody can get N. NordVPN, that's it, NordVPN. And she, I've got a little, hold on, one moment, I've got a little script here. Right, Nord, for those of you who don't know, NordVPN is the best VPN on the market. And VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And there's many, 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 many reasons to have one of these. The, big, what, the first big one is um, to stop hackers and snoopies snoopers from stealing your information and accessing your data that was it that was it it basically adds an extra layer of security to your device hides your ip address or allows you to choose an ip address from anywhere in the world so you could be in india where we are now okay oh no i'm getting confused the other reason to get one of these is so you can watch shows from anywhere in the world where wherever you are in the world i mean it's a godsend um, Margaret's been showing me how to use it, and it's brilliant. So anyway, I I think that's I think that's all, Sarah. Are you still there, Sarah? Yes, I'm still here. Just one second, Arthur. So guys, if you want to try NordVPN for yourself, as always, there's a fantastic deal on a two-year plan plus four additional months for free, and there's no risk involved with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Hello. I must I must skedaddle and go and make sure Margaret's all right. Okay, well, thanks for popping on today and telling everyone about today's sponsor of the video, Arthur. We really appreciate it. You're more than welcome, more than welcome. Lovely to speak to you, Sarah. Okay, well, send our love to Margaret. I hope you two have a lovely Christmas together. I hope we're still together at Christmas. Anyway, have a jolly, jolly Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Chat soon. Love to the, the girls and Mick. Mick, was it? Yes. Bye! Bye Arthur! Bye, bye! Sorry about that, where were we? Back to our trip down memory lane. So October wasn't the best month. We were left stranded in Berlin for probably a couple of weeks. There was a delay with the export plates, which meant we couldn't go anywhere. Our insurance had kind of run out. We were hoping to get the export plates before. And so we were just stuck for like the first half of the month. And then the day we came to pick up the export plates or organize it, the company contacted and said, it's not the case. The law had changed and everything would have to be removed. The whole thing about going up to Germany and collecting this van and bringing it back into Spain was so we could keep it as it was. So yeah, that put a bit of a downer on things. Um, we headed back to Andalusia pretty quickly. November wasn't the best of the months. It was kind of heartbreaking. We had to take apart bit by bit this this beautiful self-built van. But we got it done. And that leads us on to December. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are, sat in our Christmas hats, Christmas jumpers, and feeling festive. Feeling festive. <laughs> and finally, at the end of the year, it's like a kind of happy ending, if you like, even though we had to go through all of that crappy stuff in November. But the van is imported in Spain we have the paperwork the paperwork actually came through the post yesterday so now we can go and pick up our Spanish number plates wow. and and yeah so it's it's been kind of a crazy it's been year. of a crazy year isn't it we should have been in the Alps the plan was to go to the, the Alps, Alps yeah. in Vinster after he'd just be all tuned up and yeah it's been kind of crazy, but it's been it's been fun as well, you know? It has been quite an adventure.
What is happening in 2024, my love? Is it the year of the explorers? You know what? I think it just could be. It could be <laughs> our year, our year to shine. Finally! <laughs> yeah, there's lots of exciting things going on this year. Don't go away anywhere. Don't go. Well, you can go, you know, travelling in your camper vans. But, but just make sure you're still watching us. Make sure channel. you're still watching us because obviously you've got the obvious things happening. Uh, but we're, we're breaking into breaking into quarters. The first quarter of the year, the first task is to get this van build done. Mm. We want to kind of make the van build quite quickly. We don't want it to go on and on and on. So we're going to be working night and day to get this van done. And hopefully we'll have a couple of little travel trips in between as well mm -hmm. as doing the van build so we don't go insane. It's so going to be explorers back to basics. We're not going to go crazy with, with, the, with the build. It's going, to, it's going to be unique. It's going to be different. It's going to have our usual splash of color. Um, but it's going to be good, yeah. But mm. we want to get it done in the first sort of quarter of the year. So by April, we I want to be. I thought we were doing it in a month. Dreamer, this one, dreamer. <laughs> I'm saying a month and a half, six weeks. I'm allowing two two months. <laughs> Most people take a year and a half, two years or something. So anyway, the first first quarter is yeah. the van build, and then. And then we are planning to go back to the UK and that will happen the right time of the year to do it because we've been back to the UK the last two winters, which is a bit cuckoo, isn't it? So we're <laughs> gonna do it right this time. We're gonna go back in the spring and on the way to the UK, we have got somewhere exciting that we really wanna check out because we're on the hunt for land again for a small property. Now you've been following the channel, we've been looking over the last couple of years um, for a property for some land. We've looked in Portugal, in central Portugal. Um, as we mentioned, we looked in Catalonia. We've um, also looked in our local area. We've yeah. looked, which we haven't, and um, we filmed a few places we went to see. We didn't document it. That That's sort of been in the background the whole time. Yeah. We do still want to find our little dream plot. Yeah, we're constantly kind of looking online at different things and properties that could work out for us and we've sort of found a new area that we really like the look at really like uh, the look at we won't of. talk too much about that yet we will say it's in spain um it makes sense for us if we're going to buy something for it to be in spain for all, all of the reasons that we've talked about um before on this channel so we're excited to go and have a look in this area clue is very different it's mountainous not saying here, anymore it's a lot different very to different where here. we are that's all we're gonna say so that's very kind exciting. of um something to look forward to in 2024 uh, the UK trip, like we just mentioned, and there's a few places in the UK that we are so desperate to go to that little old Vince that didn't manage to take us to last year, unfortunately. So that will definitely be happening. That's all. And then the last to end the year on a high. Um, if you've been following us from the very start of this channel, back about six years ago, the plan was to, to explore most of Europe in a few years. Obviously, plans change. COVID but... and everything kind of stalled all that. Yeah. And then the issue was with little old Vince to stalled that as well. But so... we want to do our, our third trip that we planned was the first trip we went around Central Europe. The second trip was up to the Arctic Circle. The third trip was the deep south and to the east. So we really want to go to Turkey, Greece, Montenegro, Albania yeah. and do all of that. We've got a big year planned for 2024 and um, it's exciting times ahead. We do feel like over the last year or so, it's been a bit of a, uh, it's been fun, but we feel like we're ready for like a, a big, a big year, a big, challenge and adventure and that We're ready for another adventure aren't we a big one yeah. yeah you know what it is he wants he wants to go into the window this time of day the sun has started to come round so he wants to go and sit in the sun in the window that's what it is go on then put him out there so we can bark at everything that moves outside oh timed it beautifully look at that little bit of sun there it is. What's your tail? So anyway, guys, we've waffled on enough and the boys are getting restless. Charlie's just realised that Diz has been cuddled up to him and he's all embarrassed now. He's been caught on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our last video of the year. There may or may not be a little live stream or something in between now. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. Year. We'll let you know. And um, we just hope that you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And thank you so, so much for watching all of our videos be them ups and downs of 2023 
Yeah, thanks for sticking by us and um, and and following on along in our adventure, our lives. What we're what we're doing. What we're doing. That's yeah. what we're doing. We're just filming our lives. So yeah, yeah. hope you're enjoying them. And hopefully we can uh, bring more to the table in 2024. And it's Definitely. Be a good year, a good year for travel, a good year for the explorers. So um, cheers. Need to get myself a little beverage to cheers you too. And um, it's a bit early for that, love. A bit early. <laughs> And um, yeah, so we'll catch you all really soon. Yeah, take care, guys. Thanks for everything. Have have a good festive period, and we'll see you all, possibly before, but maybe just in the new year. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>